What's going on guys? It's your boy Thomas here and I'm bringing you back another YouTube video and today we're going to be showing you guys some of the best starter mods for you to start modifying your car. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and skip this intro and let's just hop into it. But before we do hop into that YouTube video, be sure to subscribe, like this video and also be sure to turn on notifications as I do live stream every single weeknight at 10 to 10 30 p.m eastern time so be sure to come out if you guys like video games and you guys want to talk about cars and also the notifications for when i post a video so that you all know right away like at the drop of a dime so with that being said let's get into the video so with that being said everyone always wants to modify their car and they're unsure where to start where to go and everything like that and in this video i'm going to explain some things of what you should be trying to possibly purchase or even at the point of things that you might be interested at that and in this video we're going to be breaking down whether it's going to be performance mods cosmetic mods and stuff like that overall so with that being said the first mod i would definitely suggest more than anything is always suspension whether you want to stick with coilovers or bags either of them completely work it's just a preference at that point if you want to stick with coilovers more power to you go for that but if you have the money to splurge and you want a, a form and functionality kind of car and you know you're not it's just going to be like a strictly show car bags might be for you but there are also some companies that you should look out for in a sense like that i'm not going to drop any specific names out there to you know talk badly about them or anything like that because in my own experience i've bought some cheap parts before as well as the higher end mods so what i'm really trying to say is you're gonna pay for what you get so if you buy cheaper coilovers they're obviously not going to be as you know prestigious as the more expensive coilovers or something like that or even springs and bags as well also also i would not suggest buying used bags if you were buying used bags Yes, sometimes it can be a wonderful deal where, you know, you're getting the best buck of, like, you know, bang for your buck and you're getting one hell of a deal. But at the same time, you also don't know how they wired things up. They might not have any kind of wiring experience. So just be weary of that as well. Same with coilovers, buying them used and everything like that. It's like a fine line you got to ride because if you don't know what they did to it, you don't know how they drove their car all the time and everything like that. But like I said, you're, the best bang for your buck is going to, you know, saving up and spending a good amount of money on a good set of coilovers or a good set of bags. So that's the first thing I would always suggest just to start out more or less. The second thing is definitely performance mods. And I'm just going to kind of mix these kind of together in a sense, which is a tune and intake. And I know intakes probably don't do a whole lot. They just help your car breathe better. It makes your engine bay look a lot better. Also getting rid of that stock, you know, intake box that's in your engine bay currently, it takes up so much room. If you get rid of that, you put an aftermarket one in there. It honestly frees up so much room within your engine bay that there's so much more room for activities in there. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin. How many activities we can do? And whether you want to actually add on to your engine bay so that way you have more room for in there now, well, freeing up that space with the intake could help with that. Most intakes do free up the space, but sometimes they do also take up just the same amount of space. Along with getting an intake, I would always suggest a tune or something like that. You get more pep out of your car, you get more performance, you get more horsepower, obviously torque. And also at most of the cases, they usually help your car run better in the longevity of it. Usually like with my car, I get better fuel mileage. It helps my turbo breathe better. It helps my exhaust, everything like that all work together in a better chain. It also helps out with the mapping of your fuel and air ratios. So that way your car can get better miles per gallon as well. So definitely there are so many suggestions out there for tunes. I would not ever suggest getting a tune that you don't know what company it's from. The most basic tune that everyone usually sticks with is Cobb Tune because they're a very good reputable company as well as best bang for your buck for when tuning your car and there you can also like use it for gauges as well so i definitely would suggest tune if you have a car that could get tuned by Cobb. and along with the performance this is also as well i guess in a way cosmetic sort of if you're just doing it for the sound but downpipe and a full exhaust as well 
or downpipe and a straight pipe because fucking I swear everyone decides to just straight pipe their car. I mean, I don't blame them. Some cars do sound absolutely wonderful straight piped and I, I can't really fight you on that one because in a sense, yeah, most cars do sound pretty decent uh, when they're straight piped. Like I, I can't hate on that. You know what I'm saying? But there are a whole bunch of companies out there that offer a downpipe along with a full exhaust for like maybe 1200 to even maybe 1500. Uh, sometimes even more depending on the car as well as the piping that's all being put onto the car so once again they kind of go hand in hand if you get a down pipe you should definitely sh i would suggest getting an, a full exhaust done or straight piping it like i said and if you are getting it straight pipe make sure that you're having it custom welded and everything from a reputable person or shop that knows how to weld and aren't doing really crappy welds like shown here because these these are pretty bad the best kind of welds you're looking for are the dime welds where it absolutely looks perfect definitely suggest finding a shop that can weld very very efficiently the fourth thing i'm gonna say here is wheels and i know most people are like oh but wheels are for you know cosmetics you know they're for show and all this and that well not in this case if you're looking for performance, I would definitely stick with aftermarket wheels because you might need A, more grip, B, you might need a lighter set of wheels to actually, you know, help your car go, you know, drop some weight so that we can go quicker down the drag strip or something like that. And then for the stance cars or like the cosmetics only, the show cars, you know, that all want to look pretty and everything like that, I would definitely suggest getting a different set of wheels away from your stock wheels. Stock wheels are just great to have as a backup. I would never suggest getting rid of them completely because you never know what may happen with your old wheels like yeah, let's say you could you know bend one or something like that you always have a fallback of a wheel that you can just throw onto your car but with that being said lightweight wheels for performance cars if you're looking for high speed and stuff like that uh it definitely cuts your weight down you don't want a heavy wheel on your car it's just going to slow you down it's going to hold you back more or less and as well as back to the the show car you're going to want to make it look flashy so that way people notice you and everything like that so that's why i would definitely suggest wheels is a big thing wheels can also make a car because my car the wheels that i have on it currently which is shown here the other set of wheels that i had on it didn't really make it pop because they were just flat in a sense where this has a little bit of cave into them has a little bit more depth into them because of the way that i did the polished faces with the paint on the inside of the inner barrels of the inner spokes as well so it kind of added some depth to it and definitely made my car pop more it's just another thing that i would definitely suggest and the fifth and final thing that i would definitely suggest and once again this one's more of a cosmetic really is definitely headlights and taillights aftermarket headlights and aftermarket taillights always make your car just completely seem different whether you're going from just halogens or even just swapping halogens for like led conversion kits and stuff like that leds and stuff like that always make your car pop uh, so if you have any halogens on your car currently definitely suggest going to leds i would not really you know suggest hids because they have to warm up and sometimes i don't know but if you can find an aftermarket set of tail lights it definitely changes your whole rear end it makes it look completely different makes it like you're looking at a whole new car now as well as a headlight i love headlights that have like the angel eyes or like just the eyes or the eyelids or stuff like that I would definitely suggest those. My tail lights are aftermarket and they're all LEDs. And I can say this, the, but those are five quick, easy mods for you guys to possibly dabble into to even just start your car build or anything like that of the sort. I would definitely suggest it. And none of these mods that I just listed off are going to really severely break the bank, but it's definitely five good things that you could definitely just, you know, start off with and then go from that direction on forward to see where your car could become from that. So with that being said, y'all, I hope you guys have a beautiful night, wonderful day tomorrow. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with the notification on. Better click that bell. I wanna see that bell rung. And with that being said, y'all, deuces.